Bob Jonah to pay for bridge repairs, Cinefarm to build six new regional hospitals, and government looking for new oil markets. I am Noriko Bolfort, and this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. The owner of the sand barge that rammed into the Demerara Harbor Bridge earlier this month will have to repay the government over $40 million for the repairs to the bridge. A report from the DHB Corporation explained that a vessel named Desal One was pulling two tugs, Alpha One and Chaka, when it hit retractor span 9 around 11.31 a.m. on September 4th of this year, severely damaging the anchoring and retractor span. The repairs have since been completed. Government Minister and Member of the Public Accounts Committee, Warren Edgell, believes that the 2019 and 2020 audit reports must be examined separately, given the unique circumstances of that period. He noted that it was the first time that there was a caretaker government following the passage of the no-confidence motion in December of 2018. Therefore, they must provide the necessary time to delve into the details of each report. The Eccles Roundabout, which connects the Mandela to Diamond four-lane road, opened on Saturday to far less fanfare than the Mandela Roundabout did. Nevertheless, with its completion, the Mandela to Diamond road is now officially open to traffic. I bet you $100 that it'll be just as congested as the public road by Christmas. It's called induced demand. Look it up, because it's basically the reason why building more roads does not equal less traffic. On a related note, an electronic ticketing system will be rolled out in approximately three weeks along the Mandela to Eccles four-lane road. The new electronic ticketing system will replace written paper tickets while the electronic monitoring speed system targets errant road users. If caught, they will be required to pay a fine at the GRA headquarters. Should drivers not pay the fine, then their license will not be renewed. And if you drive with a suspended license, well, you already know that's a crime. Last month, the government quietly signed an agreement with China's state-owned pharmaceutical company, Sinopharm International, for the construction of six new regional hospitals in Guyana. This was according to chief engineer of Sinopharm, Fu Qiang. He, however, did not provide the cost for the project. Health Minister Frank Anthony said that the design process has commenced and the sites are currently being prepared for the construction phase. He too did not give a cost for the projects. Then new facilities will be built at Anna Regina Region 2, De Kinderen Region 3, Diamond and Enmore in Region 4, Bath Settlement in Region 5, and Skeldon in Region 6. Each of the new regional hospitals will be 65 square feet in size. Your home is your most valuable asset. So before you sign on the dotted line, call VJS Home Inspections. They are a licensed and insured home inspection company with professionals operating in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, and Westchester County. From electrical and plumbing issues to a leaky roof. If there's a fault in the house, VJS will find it using the latest industry technology, including infrared scanners, HD drones, and more. So if you're buying or selling a home in New York, make the smart choice. Call VJS Home Inspections at 914-513-9356 and tell them Noriko sent you. It might not be robbery season, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business through Sheriff Security Service. Sheriff Security offers well-trained guards, arm and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even are drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. The Office of the Auditor General is currently conducting real-time audits of the cash handouts being issued by the government. And according to the Auditor General, Diodot Sharma, those grants are being issued without prejudice. Over the past two years, the government has passed out a 25,000 Rona handout, a $25,000 to public servants, $25,000 school child cash handout, $50,000 to farmers, $25,000 to hinterland and riverend households, $250,000 to cane cutters, $100,000 to fishermen, and $100,000 to children with disabilities. If there's any others, you could just let me know in the comments if I missed any more of the handouts. On Monday, the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security launched a project to address child begging in Guyana. 
the Child Care and Protection Agency officers will be patrolling nationwide, looking for the children and finding ways to address the reasons why the kids are begging in the first place. Yesterday, 28-year-old Troy Griffith was remanded to prison after he was charged with the murder of fellow taxi driver Quincy Weeks, who he is accused of stabbing to death last Wednesday during an argument over $500 and a parking space. He will return to court next month. Last Saturday, 24-year-old gold miner Troy Prudencio died after a strong breeze reportedly dropped the tree on him at Goldfinger Landing in Region 7. An investigation is ongoing. On Monday, detectives in Burpeace recovered a car used in an armed robbery committed in No. 79 Village, Corriveton, Burpeace. They recovered the white of Venices after someone notified the police that it was abandoned on a street. The vehicle was searched and several pieces of clothing worn by the alleged perpetrator were found. The ranks also recovered a cell phone belonging to a victim on the No. 43 roadway. On Monday, a 17-year-old a 21-year-old laborer by the name of Roberto Luis and 29-year-old warehouse attendant Wendell Austin were charged with robbing a 27-year-old policewoman at gunpoint on September 5, 2022. Austin pleaded not guilty, whilst the teen and Roberto Luis pleaded guilty to the crime. They were all remanded to prison and will return to court on October 15th. Now for today's oil update. Kaikan Consortium, China Energy International Group Company Limited, China Machinery Engineering Inc., Power China International Group Limited, and Lin Seika Incorporated and CH4 Guyana Incorporated have all submitted bids to build the proposed natural gas fired power plant at Wales, West Bank Demerara. Exxon has already contracted the construction of the pipeline and underwater equipment to Subsea 7. Van Oud and Technip FMC. The pipeline is expected to land at Crane, Nouvelle Flanders, West Coast of Aurora, and make its way to Wales, transporting approximately 50 million standard cubic feet per day to the plant to be processed and either burned as fuel or sold as liquid natural gas. In other oil news, Aramco Trading Limited, a subsidiary of Saudi Aramco, was awarded a one-year contract to market Ghana's crude oil in September 2021. With their contract coming to an end, the Ministry of Natural Resources is now looking for a new company to provide marketing services for the nation's share of crude oil. Lisa Phase 1 has the capacity to produce around 140,000 barrels of oil per day. It would offload crude every 7 to 9 days at this rate. Phase 2 can produce approximately 220,000 barrels per day and typically offload loads every four to six days. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale is this 2016 Toyota Crown Athlete. It comes with Bluetooth mock rims, new tires, TV, CD, stereo, fog lamps, bot camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $9.95 million or pay as low as $1.99 million down with around $170,000 monthly for five years and it is yours. Call a WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info. Oh, Visit the showroom at Lot 171, Pitaroshi, Queenstown, a lot to Lama Street, and tell them Narigo sent you for this sweet deal. Are you a truck owner? Pay close attention. Avoid lengthy downtime when your truck broke down. Get high quality Dolph, International, Freightliner, Bedford TM, or Scammell Truck Pot at the lowest prices at Powered Automotive. Visit them at Lot 1161 EE Eccles. Or call them on telephone number 6970171. Save big on truck pots at Powered Automotive the number one heavy-duty truck pot store in Guyana. Now for our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it is to us. Last night I asked about the renegotiation of the oil contract. Our Seaview form says, why are we beating a dead horse? The contract is signed and sealed and delivered since 2016. Focus on the new deals with Exxon and the other drillers and shake every cent out of them. I agree. Jay Jiram says there is probably dire consequences if they attempt to do that. Maybe. And finally, Ian King says there may be some financial benefit or sweetener for the big boys for not renegotiating the contract like Artie and the others may have gotten when they accepted that insulting 2% deal. What about the poor Guyanese children? That is a possibility. That is one theory. 
So, before we get to tonight's question, you can multiply your cash by selling Digicel Top Up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a Top Up vendor quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685 3109 for more info. Now, for tonight's question. What is a national issue that you feel is not being addressed by those in authority? I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. Check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Pulford saying goodnight, folks.